10 Truly Bizarre Things That Amina, Queen of Zazao, Did Number 1. Amina was her refusal to marry. Despite her father's desire for her to wed, she chose to remain single. Her decision was driven by a desire to maintain power and avoid distractions. Number 2. Her reign was the Horo, a protective leather garment. It was typical for warriors, but Amina took it up a notch. She had hers encrusted with iron to serve as makeshift armor. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Number 3. Amina had a unique battle strategy. She built fortifications known as Ganuwar Amina after each victory. These walls not only marked her conquests but also provided protection for her people. Number 4. Arguably the most bizarre practice during Amina's reign was the Night Husbands. After each victory, she would choose a man from the conquered tribe, spend the night with him, and have him executed the next morning, ensuring his loyalty couldn't cause rebellion. Number 5. Amina's love for trade was also quite unconventional. She personally led trading expeditions, a task usually reserved for men. Her boldness and ambition saw Zazao prosper under her rule. Number 6. Her sense of justice was no less peculiar. She was known to be a fair and just ruler, often settling disputes personally. This was unheard of for a queen, making her stand out among her contemporaries. Number 7. Amina's passion for equestrian was another unusual trait. She was known to have a vast collection of horses from all over Africa. Her passion for horses was so profound that she often rode into battle herself. Number 8. Despite being a warrior queen, Amina had a deep appreciation for art and music. She patronized local artisans and musicians, promoting their work and encouraging cultural growth. This was quite unusual for a warrior queen. Number 9. Amina's love for war was perhaps her most bizarre trait. She often led her troops into battle, a practice that was unheard of for women at the time. She was not only a queen, but also a fierce warrior. Number 10. Amina was known to have a fondness for architecture. She often commissioned the construction of grand palaces and buildings. Her architectural pursuits were not typical for a queen, making it another unusual aspect of her reign. 